Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you three garments made with knit fabrics. And in a way, this is a continuation of what I have been doing for the last few weeks, naming uh, sewing with knit fabrics. So for example, in my video 70, I uh, share with you several pajama sets that I made using knit fabrics. And in my last video, I share with you um, the modifications that I made to turn a very basic t-shirt pattern, uh, in my case, the new look 6246, um, and change the neckline into a turtleneck uh, neck, and also change the sleeves into a very puffy bishop sleeve. And so today's garment is a sort of a continuation of the evolution of the pattern hacking, so to speak. So today's garments all share the same design features, uh, i.e. they all have this fairly wide neckline, and this is exactly the neckline from the original New Look 6246 pattern and and they all have this uh detail you know this bow tie detail that i did and also with three quarter uh lengths uh puffy bishop sleeves the first garment that i will share with you today is this one here uh, made from just over a yard of uh, about 58 inch wide 100 percent cotton that i purchased from joanne uh, just before Christmas. So it's just about a month ago. And uh, so here's a quick look of this color. Um, and uh, interestingly, on Joanne's website, uh, you know, it states it's a bright white, but it really is not white white, like optical white. It's, it's a bit more of a cream uh, or a milk kind of color. And uh, so it has a warmer tone. And in a way, I like it better actually because i think it's less stark and uh, it suits my coloring better so so actually i'm quite uh, happy with this color the only thing is this fabric is a bit uh thin and so you know even though it doesn't look it you know it's not really see-through but i did wear a nude uh undergarment uh for this uh underneath the top and about the design, really nothing groundbreaking. So this is exactly the same neckline of the original New Look 6246. So I did not hack it in that way. However, instead of a standard uh, neck band, I did change it up to this uh, bow tie piece. And in a way, this bow tie piece is really easy to construct. Uh, so instead of cutting out the the neck band, I just used the entire width of the fabric. And in this case, it was about 58 inches. So I cut out a strip of fabric that is 58 inches long times two and a half inches wide. Then I just sewed up, you know, right sides together, the ends and also the, uh, the sides and then turn it right side out. But I did leave a portion in the middle on sewn so that I will be able to turn it right side up. And then, so let me show you actually the construction of the bow tie. So it's actually incredibly simple. So, uh, so as you can see here, this is exactly the standard construction for a t-shirt uh, neckband piece. And so instead of, you know, sewing it all around the, uh, the neckline, there is a and about an inch gap in between here so you can see and so i just sold it you know from here and around and comes out and then with leaving you know sort of two loose ends and how i determine where it is just sort of looking at the mirror to see where i like it and in my case because i am right-handed so i did put the the bow tie you know sort of to my left so i figure it might be easier and but of course it makes no difference whichever you know, side, you prefer to do it. And in a way, the t-shirt with bow tie is very similar to the sew over it Audrey top. And uh, when it first came out a couple of years ago, I really admired it. But I, I wanted, but instead of buying the pattern, I wanted to see if I would be able to uh, recreate that look 
without purchasing the pattern. And then so I'm really glad that, you know, it, it's very easily achievable. And uh, so, so I thought I would share with you what I did. And about the sleeves, it's exactly the same as the the puffy bishop sleeves for all the sweaters that I made um, in video 71. Except that I, in this case, I shortened the sleeve pieces by about four inches to turn the sleeves into a three quarter length, which is generally really uh, probably my favorite uh, sleeve length, just because you know it's sort of long enough to keep me warm but it kind of stays out of the way. So when I type on my computer or do other things, somehow it doesn't seem to interfere with what, I, what I'm doing. So I really love this. So, uh, so this is what it looks like. And uh, so here is a quick video of this white top with bow tie. And I paired the top with a pair of uh, blue jeans and uh, a pair of three inch heels from Burberry and these are probably my favorite shoes ever uh, but overall it's a very relaxed look and loose fitting and I really love how this combination of the bow tie neckline and also the three quarter length bishop sleeves and uh, this bow tie you know it's a very simple sort of a detail but I think it does gives the top a bit more of a polished look and perhaps also a bit more of a feminine feminine look so i really like it and then so very happy about the uh, outcome of my experiment the second garment that i will share with you today is this one here uh, made also from just a little over one yard of 100% uh, cotton also from joanne and in this case as you can see it's a green base with white polka dots. And uh, so I just really love this print. It looks so cheery. And so here's a quick look of this uh, print in color. And same thing, just like the cream one, it also has that bow tie detail with a uh, three quarter length of sleeves. So about this uh, green polka dot version, I actually made this one before the cream one that I just shared with you earlier. But originally it was made with a simple uh, neckline, uh, you know, as you can see in the picture here. But I just was not uh, thrilled with how it looked. It just looked a bit boring. And so I decided to kind of just set it aside while I worked on the cream version because I knew the cream version would be uh, would be the one with the bow tie. And if the cream version worked out, then I would, you know, swap out the neckline uh, for this uh, bow tie. You know, that's the beauty of making one's clone clothes because it's easy enough to change it up. And so, so after the success of that cream version, I decided to convert the neckline of this green polka dot one from, you know, a sort of plain band into this bow tie. And also about the sleeves, because I made this one first. So originally the bishop sleeves here is not as puffy. And then, uh, while it still looks cute, I really wanted to be a bit more puffy. So in this case, I, uh, I use a uh, slash and spread method. I just spread out everything a little more. So the final result, the cream version is the gaps are three inches in uh, in the size. And so that gives me a more puffy look. I think this one is probably about two inches wide for the gaps. I mean, it still looks cute, but I really want it to be a bit more dramatic. So that's what I converted. And uh, so overall, I do think I like the cream version a little better, even though this one, I think with the polka dot print um, is perfectly cute and very happy how it worked out and also Really glad that I just swapped out the neckline from a plain band uh, to this uh, bow tie detail. Even though in this case, because the fabric print is a bit busier, you probably don't see as well. But you know, I really love it. So here is a quick video of this green polka dot top. And I also paired it uh, with a pair of blue jeans and the same three inch round heels from Burberry. 
And I'm just really loving this uh, green polka dot print. It looks so cheery, especially now in the midst of uh, winter, uh, we could all use a bit of cheering up. And uh, really just so fast to make, I just love it. The third garment that I will share with you today is this dress here, uh, made from about a yard and a half of about uh, also 58 inch wide cotton uh, jersey that I also purchased from Joanne. And uh, so here's a quick look of the texture. As you can see, it's a black base, but with some sort of uh, sparkles. And I think it's a bit more of a festive holiday uh, dress-ish look. Um, so this is what it looks like. And with exactly the same detail, the bow tie, and also the very puffy bishop sleeves. In this case, this is exactly the same amount of uh, puff as the uh, the sweaters that I uh, shared with you in my last video, video 71. So, so in terms of a progression of puff for the sleeves, the green polka dot one has the least amount of puff and the cream one has sort of the middle amount of puff and this one has the most amount of puff. And so I just really love this very exaggerated puff, three quarter length sleeves. And in this case, I did make this one into a dress, uh, but it's a sort of short flirty shift dress. So this is what it looks like. And in this case, I, um, instead of finishing the hem using the twin needle method, I actually just uh, use the blind hem foot on my sewing machine. And it actually works out great because then it really gives a really truly invisible finish. So I think it gives a bit more polished look versus a twin needle method, you know, with two lines of stitching across. But it really just down to your personal preference. But in any case, I'm really happy how it works out. And uh, so this is what it looks like. And uh, so here is a quick video of this black holiday dress-ish. And, uh, and I paired it with heels. So I think overall it's a uh, sort of flirty look. And so I'm very happy about how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's short video as I share with you my latest pattern hack. And as you can see, it's a simple hack. You know, really it doesn't require any special skills, but it really produces really beautiful results and really gives a totally new look uh, to the t-shirt pattern that it's uh, originally based on. So I'm really happy about it. And hopefully that will give you some ideas as you try uh, various modifications uh, to an existing pattern that you already have. So on that note, I hope you will stay safe, be well, and I hope I will see you soon. Bye-bye.